good day. I am Nuktula Jamini with your midday news updates. Timothy Omotoso retrial begins. Jabu Mabuza appointed as Eskom's acting CEO. Richard Mkluliko accused will soon learn their fate in kidnapping assault case. The rape and human trafficking retrial of Jesus Dominion Church Pastor Timothy Omotoso starts today. It was previously suspended when Judge Mandela Makawula recused himself after it emerged his wife had business interest at a guest house at which some of those state witnesses were staying. Cheryl Zondi was central to the trial as she detailed how Omotoso allegedly raped her and how he controlled the girls in his cave. Public Enterprises Minister Pravin Gordon has picked Jabu Mabuza to be ESCOM's acting CEO. It follows the resignation of Pagamani Khadebe, whose tenure will end on the 31st of July. Mabuza will serve in the role for at least three months. This comes as Gordon struggles to find long-lasting solutions for the country's embattled CEOs. Several years after the trial began against former crime intelligence boss Richard Mdluli and co-accused Mtembe Nimtunzi on charges relating to the 1999 kidnapping, assault and intimidation of Opa Ramokhibe who was married to Mdluli's former lover Tidi Butelezi, judgment will finally be delivered. On Monday, Judge Ratamu Huatleng started delivering his lengthy judgment in the Gauteng High Court in Johannesburg. Judge Ratamu Huatleng began by rejecting part of the submissions made by Mdluli's lawyer, Ike Mutluweng, who had previously argued there was a delay in prosecuting the matter. Now to your sports news updates with Andisi Wesikoko. Thank you, Noctula, with your sports news. I'm Andisi Wesikoko. After the box had an epic draw with the All Blacks, they have moved one place high in their rankings above England. Coming to the game, the box were in the fifth place and have now moved to fourth place. Henry Pollard's injury time conversion at the Westpac Stadium and South Africa a 16 draw against New Zealand. The All Blacks remain in the first position, Wales in second place and Ireland in third place. And in football news, former Mamelodi Sundowns player Pesita finds himself a new home. Yesterday, club Bragg confirmed the transfer after Tau had com completed his medical over the weekend and the last paperwork was shuffled through a few hours earlier. England side Brighton failed to get him a work permit to play in the Premier League this season because of Bafana Bafana's poor position in the FIFA rankings. CAF Champions League winner Pizzo Musimane has rubbish claims that he might be leaving coaching Mamelo de Sundowns. On Sunday, there were claims that the coach might be leaving the club. Musimane has since referred the questions to the Sundowns. The claims alleged that among a string of issues Musimane has been angry about is Sundowns wanting to bring in an unnamed Spanish coach as technical director from next month. That's all from Sports News. Goodbye. Moving over to your traffic and weather updates. Thank you, Noctula, taking a look at our traffic this afternoon. In four ways on the northbound, there's an accident causing queuing traffic towards the N1 interchange. In Boysons Reserve on the Crownwood Road, there's an obstruction causing queuing traffic towards the Soweto Highway. In four ways in the William Nicoll Drive, there's also an obstruction causing delays at Leslie Avenue. Taking a look at our weather, Johannesburg is at 23 degrees Celsius. Pretoria is at 25 degrees Celsius and Alberton is at 22 degrees Celsius. Back to the news desk. That's it from me and the rest of the Jubik TV news team. Goodbye.